Hi, this is Brian from Enlightened Speed here. And this is the first of a short series of tutorial videos covering how to make a super drum machine combinator. And of course, we'll be using our recently released plugin Launchion extensively when doing this and covering some of the best practice tactics for it. So we're starting with an empty rack. The first device that we add is the combinator. And then without holding shift, we drag in a mixer and a second mixer. And then just quickly flip to the back and ensure that the chaining auxiliaries and master has connected like we see here. And then we next add in our drum machines, an oomph club, and we're also going to add an oomph retro. One of the main reasons we're using these is because they're patch flickable. Probably the only machine I would advise against would be Kong because you want to be able to connect each individual channel here on the oomph up to the respective mixer channel just as you can see me doing here with the first oomph and then just close that mixer open the next mixer open the other oomph and we do the same process again for the second oomph into the second mixer this time but again channel for channel And then next, we want to add in a couple of players. For this project, we're using one drum sequencer per oomph. And of course, no cabling is required for that. And the final plugin to be added is, of course, Launchion. And for this part, as you can see, the set of connections we're making here are from Launchion's output ports into the mixer's level CV in. Which means, of course, that Launchion's morphine functions are controlling the mix. Now, later on, we will change this. Once a more finely tuned drum machine starts to come into focus. But at this stage, we're really just building a nice template. And as you can see, Mixer 2, we're doing exactly the same. Hooking up the level CV ins, and this time we're doing it on Launchion's second row of output ports. And then if we just scroll up to see the combinator again, we connect the pattern ports, that's the row along the bottom, and we connect them to CV1 and CV2. And then lastly, we just set the input type to unipolar from the default setting of bipolar, which is actually crucial for setting the combinator up. Programming the combinator itself is very simple from here. We simply select drum sequencer 1, then set CV1 in as the source, and then pattern select as the target. And then we do the same for drum sequencer 2, but we set it as CV2. And in both cases, we leave the pattern select as the default off to 8. So next we need to have some patterns for the drum sequencers. And you can see by the miracle of camera trickery here that our drum sequencer is already populated here. And just to share with you a useful technique, don't start on pattern one, start on pattern eight for both drum sequencers. And build up your full kind of crescendo loop. And then this allows you to work your way down through the patterns subtractively. And this is a great way of doing it because it's quick and easy to set it up and it tends to always mean that the result will sound more together pattern for pattern than if you were doing it additively. And particularly if you're trying to have two different drum sequences that are coming from different pattern devices. So let's have a quick listen to what we've got so far. Okay, so let's bring Launchy on in at this stage. And what we'll do first before starting to randomize things is setting up a couple of obvious but useful presets. And I'm going to place them along the bottom row. So scene numbers 57 through 64. And as you can see, what we're doing is setting the first scene to patterns one on all devices. And then the second scene to pattern 2 on all devices, the third scene to pattern 3 on all devices, and so on. This gives us the obvious building presets. 
And then to stop these being affected by the scene randomize, we simply lock all of the scenes which are going to be doing it. In this case, 57 through 64. And then the final obvious preset is we need one for all the patterns being off. So I'm going to set this to scene one, which previously had everything set to eight, but we now have uh, number 64 set to eight. And we'll lock that as well. And again, this means we have a kind of a panic button if you wish. And so now we're ready. Let's hit randomize and we'll have a listen to some of these combinations. So that's us for part one. We hope you like what you've seen so far. And if you join us again for part two, uh, what we will be doing next is having a look at, first of all, the CV connections, which we have set up, but we haven't actually done anything with them yet. So we'll do some stuff with that and we'll hopefully also show you some of the management functions that have now been built into the Black Friday version of Launchion. And if you're watching this before Black Friday, yeah, there's more stuff coming. Anyway, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you very much for watching. We'll speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.